Ben back with you here in the model shop, uh, just ready to show you some more progress on our USS Independence. Uh, today I went ahead and got the um, flight deck basically all squared away. Well, mostly I got it out and I got it painted. Uh, and then we're going to show you the weathering that I did. And then I'm going to try and do some stencils for the decals. Uh, not the stripes, although I probably can sort that out too. But definitely the uh, the numbers are supposed to be um, these big 22s are supposed to go on there. Uh, but I went ahead and weathered the flight deck, and so I don't want to put brand new uh, decals right on it. I'd like to paint it. That'll help me control the look of things. So anyway, I'll show you what I've done so far. All right, so here we are with the deck. Uh, went ahead and painted it today. I uh, did quite a bit of weathering, as you can see right there. Um, I also did, sorry about being jerky there, uh, a little bit of weathering along the side of the fuselage. You can see the little color tones there. Uh, that was achieved by taking the paint that I used for the um, side of the ship, which is just this uh, Model Masters navy blue gray. Add a few drops of, you know, flat white, and uh, just went ahead and put those highlights on there. So then, <clears throat> for the flight deck, went ahead and used Model Master uh, Weather Deck Blue, United States Navy, and just put a nice even coat over the whole thing. Then I had went ahead and took my flat white and put a few drops in and uh, created these lighter areas that you see. This is probably a really good example right there and some other spots. After that was done, um, with the paint that was left in the airbrush, I just grabbed you know, this tester's enamel um, flat brown 1166 added a bunch of drops so that I could get uh, kind of this wood color going on there to get down to the deck which I think looks really nice and if I just mock it up here for a second um, I think it looks pretty cool so the big thing that I gotta try and do next is uh, I I should have put the decals on first. I should have painted it the blue, put the decals on, and then weathered it. I didn't do that. Uh, so I want to paint them anyway as much as I can. So um, this is a uh, just a copy, black and white copy of the decal sheet I print out. Try and, we're going to try and make a stencil for these 22s uh, and put it on the deck there. So I'm going to try and go ahead and show you how I do that and uh, see if we have any luck spray painting on the numbers. Alright, so this is what we've got going here. Uh, I thought I had 3 quarter inch wide Timia tape, but I don't. I guess all I have is this 3 eighths inch stuff, but that's alright. It'll work. I've got my regular mat cutting board that a lot of you guys have, and what I did is I went ahead and just laid down a bunch of layers of tape overlapping each other. We're going to use this to make a mask. Here is my uh, 22 from the kit that I just went ahead and Xeroxed. We're going to position this bottom one, not the top one. Well, I could probably do the top one. Right there in the middle of the mask. Um, I'll tape it down. Exacto knife, sharp blade, ruler. We're going to cut out the black 22s all the way through the tape. When we're done, this should peel off, and we'll go ahead and we'll put it, uh, you know, one in the front and one in the back on the deck, and then we should be able to spray paint things. So we're going to try that, see how this works out. All right, success. Cut out the 22s, and there it is. So, get out of the light. Uh, next tricky part, I'm going to peel this off very carefully and try and put it on the bow. Oh yeah, alright. Got to work here. Went ahead and had to do a little modifying, you know, to, to extra pieces of tape to straighten everything out, but it worked. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut out the other one and we'll put it on the back end and uh, then I'll get the airbrush mixed up and we'll get some paint going here. Um, it's supposed to be, you know, dark, I think almost black. Uh, I might do like a navy, so I want it to be faded, I might go with like the navy blue um, or something just to, 
I want it on there, but I want it faded and wore out. So that may involve some messing around. Okay, I'll get back to you uh, when we get the next one set up. All right, we're all set. Um, got our mask done. Whoops, sorry about the bump. Both ends uh, should be pretty straight, should be pretty centered. You know, I'm not going to get too anal about it because, uh, let's face it, these are like 40 foot letters or something like that in real life. They're never going to be perfectly straight anyway. Um, but uh, I did try to get the edges justified up. Anyway, we'll just go ahead and uh, I'll get it shot with some black paint. going to do it real light, just enough to make it stand out. I'll peel the mask off and then uh, do whatever appropriate weathering to the numbers I need to to get to match the rest of the deck. Alright, so let me shoot this and then I'll get back to you with the masks pulled off. Alright, so uh, here we are. I shot black on here and uh, on the back. Um, I didn't go very heavy with it because I want it to look faded. And in the back of the aft end of the deck where planes would be landing a lot, um, I don't know how well this would hold up. Tried to stay a little bit darker towards the outside, assuming most pilots tried to land in the middle. Whatever. Anyway, uh, and then it went a little darker overall on the front. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. And uh, I'll zoom in here. And we'll see if, um, if this worked out okay or not. I hope so. It's a lot of work. Oh yeah, there we go. Alright. There we go. There's the 22 on the bow. Uh, I'm actually really happy with that. We'll get a wide shot here in a minute. That worked out nice. So let's go back here to the aft end of the ship. There we go. Toothpick is obviously the preferred tool of the trade. And boom. There we go. Alright, there we go. That's our 22 faded on the bow. And uh, get a wider angle here. There it is on the back. And as you can see, by varying the spray pattern, uh, it looks nice and worn, you know with kind of the worn wood effect I've got going on there. So, um, man, I think that I think that worked out like really awesome. So now, uh, let's see, with the one that I'm doing, we have white around the both elevators, which basically go right in that track right around there. Uh, I'll probably paint that by hand. I may mask it off here and shoot it light with an airbrush. We might do that. Now there's decals for the stripes that run all along the hull, or the I'm sorry, the length of the bow, the and the length of the flight deck. Uh, I wanted to just mask it off instead, um, and then go ahead and just you know hit it with a, a, a white air or a white spray paint. Just set that up there. Boom. Get a view like that going here. And uh, put the lines on there that way so that you know they're nice and faded and wore in and out. Um, may still do that here. I gotta gotta see see how it plays out. Anyway, uh, let me go ahead and play with that and. Um, 
I'll come to some sort of decision here, and so that we keep the video short, I'll show you the uh, the finished product. It was suggested real quick that I splatter some oil stains, you know, you know in the back and up here forward of the uh, well. The conning tower is going to go like right here, um, where they would park the planes. Uh, may still dabble with that. Haven't totally decided yet, um, but we'll give that. We'll, we'll figure out the stripes, and we'll move on to that. All right, got the elevators both masked off successfully. Um, I'll cover those areas with paper. We're going to shoot this with light, with flat white. Um, the idea being to keep it. Well, I guess the stripes will be mostly faded in here in the middle, and they'll be a little bit more prominent to the edge. And I'm, I'm going to try to model them. Uh, you know, be splotchy with it. I think that'll work out, but not getting too white because, again, I want it to look faded and used, and like the elevator goes up and down, they trudge across it all the time. Uh, I would imagine that they do, they tried to kind of keep it painted, you know, so that people knew where they were going. But uh, anyway, we'll hit it light, and I'm sure it'll pop out nice and look real good. So we'll do that here next. All right, uh, finished painting. Whoop, on the table there. Let's see here that um, the paint isn't exactly even. It's kind of distributed all over the place. So I did that uh, front and back, um, trying to place more emphasis on the edges. On the very back, this is, can't tell, this is the aft end. Um, or I hope so. <laughs> anyway, uh, last paint there because the idea is that it would be wore off. So let's just pull all this off. too bad. We're going to have, you know, a little bit, I see a little bit of bleed over, um, where the masking didn't go down, tape didn't go down in the groove, exactly what I wanted, but we'll touch that up, you know, put a little black or something down in there. Not too bad. Uh, definitely gonna have to probably dirty that up a little bit. I think that's all right. This is the aft elevator um, where the airplanes would be landing all the time. This is an escort aircraft carrier, so you know the deck's just not that big. You can have a lot of activity no matter where you're at. Would assume. There we go. Got some little spots to clean up, but uh, yeah, I think that worked out really well. So, um, with the plan that I'm doing, there's a very thin center line that goes down here, and then there's uh, lines that go on the edge, uh, on the outside. At least that appears to be what the instructions say. So, I'm going to go ahead and mask that off, start that whole process next, and I'll just cut, cut back in with you guys when uh, it's all finished because that's a lot of masking. Alrighty, so this is it. Um, the deck's just 
sitting on here, obviously it's you know it's still loose and everything, but uh, I spared you guys the pain of watching me um, mask all of the lines off and then paint and then pull them off. Um, again, the deck's just sitting up there. Anyway, um, I think it looks pretty awesome. Uh, not done with the, I mean, I'm not done yet. Obviously, there's still lots of details that need to be put on the deck, uh, like all those cables and everything. Um, the elevators, I actually did a better job painting the stripes than I did the white of the elevators. Uh, and so, when I was done, I ended up toning them down just a little bit. I mixed up some uh, of the deck stain with a little bit of white and then just a touch of black and just misted it over it just to try and get it closer to the same tone of the stripes. Um, pretty happy with it. I think my favorite is the uh, the black for the numbers really turned out great. Anyway, so that's it. Um, we're gonna keep pressing on with Painting the deck, uh, I got to work on the display case or the display stand. There's my nice piece of cherry. Unfortunately, I had some trouble with the uh, little pillars that hold the things up. Um, I want this to be, I mean, this is nice and heavy. I want this to be robust and firm to hold on to the ship because there's going to be a lot of fragile parts like that stuff. Uh, that I don't want to get broken off and then a myriad of things will be you know along the port and starboard side so the idea is to get the uh, get the base so that it'll hold everything up alright anyway that's uh, one last look at kind of everything that's done tonight um, thanks again for checking it out and uh, watching the channel and uh, We'll, we'll press on and, and make some more updates.